Hello, GB Networks here. Today I'm bringing you a video on how to install and configure your own local Unify software controller. You can use this on a regular desktop computer, laptop, Raspberry Pi, anything like that. As long as it has enough power to do so, you can lo you can host your own local Unify controller software. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you do is you need to go to your search bar that you want to Google. I like Google, so I'll just type in Google quick. Um, and then you go to Unify Controller and it will pop up here. And then you will want to go to Downloads here. And it will pop up any second here. And so don't pay attention to kind of this left side here. All we want is not the firmware, but we want the software. And as, and as you can see, you can get Mac OS, Windows, uh, Ubuntu, Linux, uh, Unified Cloud Key, Android and iOS. Right now we're just downloading it on a Windows machine. So we are gonna do it Windows. And obviously it says what products are available on the different uh, controller software. So we will click download on this. And um, it was updated on August 7th. Yep, accept that. And then you just click download file. And as you can see, I just wanna point out quick that the version I am on is 6.2.26 as of June 21st of 2021. So uh, a little window will pop up here and you just click save file. And this will download and as you can see it's 155 megabytes which isn't awful but it will take a little bit depending on your internet speed and i don't really have great internet so we will come back as soon as it is done downloading we are back now that took a little bit but it is officially installed so as soon as it is done installing you just click open file and it should open up here and it will give you a yes or no let me just see if it is recording. It is recording on the screen here. So um, what we will do is we will click install on the setup wizard here. And this will take probably about five minutes or so. So I will be right back as soon as it is done downloading. All right, now that it's done downloading, that is it for the setup wizard. So now it will say start Unify controller after installation and you are all ready. So all you do is click finish and it should pop up. And now we can close this now and it should pop up on our screen here. All right, now that it is finished, all we do is we should pop up on our screen here right on the screen of your Windows machine if you are on Windows and it will pop up right after this. It will say uh, Unify Controller and this is your controller software. This is how you access your controller. This is the software that you have installed on your computer and it will show up on your screen with this uh, AP looking um, icon here and it will say Unify and it will obviously say starting Unify Controller. Now this It'll take a little bit, but once you do it a few more times, it'll kind of learn the settings and things like that. So it will go a lot faster. So after it is done, which we will come back in just a little bit, it will say launch a browser to manage the network. And we will do that as soon as it's done initializing. It is officially done initializing and setting up the settings and we are all good to go to launch our software. So you just click launch a browser to manage the network and it will launch browser that you set to the um, default and don't worry about this you'll get a lot of that that doesn't mean anything you just go to advanced and you accept the risk and continue don't worry it is safe uh, and this is where you start to configure your controller so obviously you can see there are six steps we are step one out of six and this is where you get to name your controller since this is just my testing one i'm just going to name it test or you can restore from backup if you have a backup that you are doing on like a virtual machine or another computer. But since I don't have a backup and this is just my test, I will just do the controller name test. Then you uh, click next. And this is where you need to have a Ubiquiti uh, sign-on account. You need this. And if you don't, you will not be able to set 
uh, an account up or your local host software. So you need an uh, account on Ubiquiti's website. So I will let you go do that if you still have not. And if you do, you just enter your username or password. So I will be right back as soon as I do that. As you can see, we have officially entered in our information and now we are on step three out of six. It, this step is to optimize your network. I recommend leaving, leaving this on. It usually does a pretty good job. You can later go in and change the settings if you want to. I usually just let it optimize my network for now. And then also the second option is enable auto backup. I also recommend doing this just because you don't have to go in there and remember to update your backups or anything like that. I just recommend doing this. You can later go in and change it also. But we just click next. I don't have any devices right now. So we'll just click next. And then this is if you have an access point. You can already uh, choose your Wi-Fi name and set up, but I do not. So we will skip this. And this is your configuration. We'll just review it quick. This is my controller name is test remote access. Yes. Um, and then the local access. Yes. And then my account, this is just my testing account. And so if everything looks good, then you just click finish or if not, you just go back. But since it does look good, we will click finish. And now this won't take too long, but right now it's just configuring you, your Unify network controller. It's just, um, initializing the software and all the settings and everything like that. This usually only takes about, I don't know, about a minute or so, and it doesn't take too long, but we will be back as soon as it is completed. All right, when everything is finalized and done downloading, this is exactly what you see. This is the new user interface as of July 22nd of 2021. And this is it. Like you are done with your dashboard. You have officially put on the Unify controller software on your local hosting machine. So the video is about done here, but I just want to go over some of the more advanced features and things like that. Just quick on the Unify network. So over here, you have your default switcher. And by the way, this is all on the new user interface. I will switch to the old user interface, which there is a lot of people that like it a lot better than the new one, AKA also me. Um, and so this, you can add your sites here. Here's the dashboard. You would see all um, different things like your Wi-Fi um, channels and things like that. Your topology your devices, which it already does recognize um, some of my devices off of my other local hosted controller. Here's your clients tab, your statistics, your insights, your alerts. And then um, here is the new dashboard and here's your Wi-Fi network security, your Wi-Fi. This is where you make your Wi-Fi networks. But right now we will switch over to the old user interface quick and see how much different it actually is. So it takes just a couple seconds here and we'll click out of this quick. And as you can see, it changes a lot. Like I said, this is where you get your channels, your switches, it shows you everything. And then your map, um, it would show your, like your topology, things like that. And yeah, that is basically it. This, it, this video is pretty simple. It just, um, it just takes about maybe five to 10 minutes of your time, depending on how much you want to go in depth with the dashboard and setting it up, but that will end the video. So like subscribe if you want and stay tuned for more videos. See you in the next video.